Good evening. I'm still reporting on the ongoing lawfare against President Trump. New York Judge Juan Mershon has gone way too far in expanding a gag order on President Trump that will prevent Trump from speaking about Mershon's daughter, who runs a political consulting firm which has raked in millions from Adam Schiff's campaign to get Trump. According to John Malcolm, Vice President for the Heritage Foundation's Institute for Constitutional Government and former Deputy Assistant Attorney General in the Criminal Division, there is no reason for Trump not to be allowed to criticize Judge Merchant's daughter, Lauren Merchant. According to Malcolm, Trump is essentially arguing that the judge is biased against him as evidenced by his daughter's political affiliations and clients. I was actually a bit surprised in light of those connections that Judge Mershon did not recuse himself from this matter. Here is the surprising list of payments from Adam Schiff's campaign committee to Lauren Mershon's political consulting firm in just two years, 2019 and 2020. This shows that Schiff, just in two years, sent authentic campaigns over $13 million. If that's not a conflict of interest, I'm not sure what one would look like. Jesse Waters on Fox News has taken on this story as well. Judge Juan Merchant, who's presiding over Trump's so-called hush money case in New York, slapped an even bigger gag order on the former president last night. Trump is banned from talking about the judge's family because the judge's family was paid by the Biden campaign. The judge's family is currently being paid by Adam Schiff, over $10 million. Trump isn't allowed to say that the judge's daughter is a Democrat consultant whose clients, the Biden campaign, Adam Schiff, are fundraising off Trump's indictment. The judge's family is getting rich off Trump trials, and he's presiding over one. And if Trump's convicted, his family financially benefits. And instead of recusing because of a glaring conflict of interest. The judge is gagging Trump for pointing out the conflict of interest. Even Michael Avenatti says it's nuts. The lawyer tweeting this from prison. We can't be hypocrites when it comes to the First Amendment. It's outrageous that Cohen and Daniels can do countless TV interviews, post on social, and make money on bogus documentaries all by talking ish about Trump. But he's gagged and threatened with jail if he responds. The judge is threatening to put Trump in jail for pointing out that his liberal family is getting rich off this trial and richer if he's convicted. Now, the media who doesn't support the First Amendment or care about corruption covers it this way. The judge overseeing Donald Trump's hush money trial just expanded a gag order forbidding the defendant and former president from attacking his own family. He doesn't just take his right to due process. He smears the judge. He harasses the judge's daughter. President uh, Trump, uh, our former chief executive, is using the bully pulpit that comes with being a former president uh, to put people in grave danger. Quite apart from his attacks on the judge's daughter, which are totally uncalled for. The judge's daughter isn't seven. She's 34. He's not attacking her. He's just saying what she does for a living. How's that an attack? He just wants a new judge, one whose family isn't funded by Democrats. Ned Ryan is the founder of American Majority. Is that too much to ask? It, it, it's really not, Jesse. It's, it's pretty appalling. This feels like a turning point in all of this lawfare against Trump and with this case. The left is dropping any pretense, doesn't seem to care at all about having any pretense of legitimacy with the, the greater public. It's the gloves are off. It's bare knuckles now. A leftist judge with, with a case that was not taken up by previous, the, the Southern District of New York, Bragg's predecessor, a case that should never have been brought. He's presiding over it. Trump simply points out his daughter, the conflict of interest with his daughter, who, by the way, it's $93 million in solicitations raised on this specific case. Oh. 
And all Trump did was point out these facts. And instead of recusing himself, the judge goes, you need to shut up. And the corporate propagandists with their circus seal act obediently rise to the occasion and say Trump's attacking the daughter. No, he's just pointing out facts. I mean, Jesse, this is a gross, uh, the, the attack on Trump's constitutional rights to defend himself, the abuse of the law, the legal system. Uh, on Trump, it's, I have to tell you, the, the Democrats, the left, have made a massive bet on all of this lawfare that some of it will take Trump out. I'm making a bet that this lawfare is going to blow up in their face. When things like this really break in on the normies that are watching this, they're going to realize the gross abuse of power that the left is actually doing to try and bring down Trump, because yeah. orange man bad. The or I'm still reporting from just outside the Citadel of World Freedom. Good day.